Do you know your medicine? Weed Maps and SC Laboratories bring you an educational series on the science of clean and safe cannabis. Today's cannabinoid profile is on tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. THCA is another cannabinoid found in the cannabis plant. THCA stands for tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. Cannabis actually produces carboxylic acids as opposed to the non-acidic forms like THC. So when you hear of THC in plants, there's actually very little THC in plants. It's mostly THCA. THCA is actually not psychoactive. With heat or with time, the THCA will convert into THC, and that's what's psychoactive. So when we smoke cannabis, we're smoking THCA, but the heat is actually turning that THCA into THC, and that's what's giving people the psychoactive effects that we come to expect from cannabis. THCA has been found to have its own medicinal properties in that it's anti-inflammatory, and it appears to modulate the immune system, meaning it can suppress it or enhance it. What's interesting about THCA is that it can be measured by medical cannabis testing, and it does allow for a patient to know the total amount of THC that's in the plant. So usually when one gets their medical testing results on a certain plant, the THCA will be expressed in percentage. And let's just say it's about 16%, and then the THC may be in a very small amount, but overall added together, that's what gives you uh, the potency of THC. We have a drawing of, of basically the synthetic pathway that THCA takes. So we start out with geraniol pyrophosphate and allotolic acid they combine to form what's called cannabigerulic acid, another acidic cannabinoid, and the cannabigerulic acid, or CBGA, basically folds in upon itself and it form rings, which gives us the final structure using the THCA synthase enzyme to form THCA. And THCA we have down here is very similar to THC. The only difference is this carboxylic acid group that's attached to the THCA. So when heat occurs or, or, or over time, that carboxylic acid will release as a CO2 and will be just left with THC. Now interestingly, when one tests medical cannabis in a lab, there are different methods, and the method that many uh, labs use is called gas chromatography. Now unfortunately, gas chromatography requires heating up of the plant, so what happens is the THCA actually gets decarboxylated in the lab. And that's why we use HPLC, because um, we feel that the, the acidic cannabinoids play a very important role in, in knowing the ratio between the THCA and THC it is important for judging the quality of the cannabis as well as the effects the cannabis is going to have on the patient. So it's, it's very important. And in with other products such as edibles or, or non-inhaled products, it's much more important because, as I said, THCA has very different properties physiologically as well as psychologically than the THC. It's very important to know those numbers in the non-inhaled products. So you actually have a very accurate measurement of the THC that's in the plant. There, there's a nearly enough study that's gone into THCA or some of these other acidic cannabinoids. Uh, the, the studies that have been done show very great promise in, in, in the possibilities of, of these acidic cannabinoids and different administration routes and stuff like that. So hopefully with the, the work we're doing here at SC Labs, bringing awareness of these compounds and, and showing people what, the, what compounds are actually in their medicine, um, we'll bring around about that awareness and, and we'll be able to inspire people to, to pick up the torch and, and, and carry it further and, and get this research done and, and start, start finding out exactly what, what benefits these compounds can have, but there needs to be a lot more research.